the James Follis Juvenile Handicap Hurdle is next, 0 one ten. This one, Pan Am Project at the top for Martin Lennon, Ruth Noir's fanning for David Robertson, Ortia Bronze and Tegan Knox, Matt Cooper, White Tire Flower and Armour White for Derek Hinton, Native Waters, Craig Beckwith, Village Witch, Jim Murray, Saxon Siren, Padre Hogan, Bobble Hat, Alex Cherry, Pascalina Lansoff, Padre Hogan, Tahira Told You So for James Shea and Esme Note for Alex Cherry. They're calling and racing and heading to the first it's the second juvenile hurdle race of the week. The first one was a listed race earlier in the week. This one's a handicap. And they get over it in quite a few of them, for a low rated one as well. Again, proving the point that I made earlier that there seems to be quite a lot of low rated hurdlers this season. This is a 0 110 qualifier on the starters' orders, which had about 19 runners in it. And this one, for just four year olds, has got 13 in it. So, not got a lot. And it's Esme Note and Bobble Hat. Or Alex Cherry, who are clearing the lead as they get to the second already. And they are safely over that one. With White Tide Flower in third, the first of Derek Hinton's two greys. These are the one. He's on more white as they get over the third. Derek was a model Barrymore fan, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's Esme Note in the lead from Bobble Hat in second. I mean, Alex Cherry's a fan of bubble hats. Oh, yeah. White Tide Flower third for Derek Hinton. I think we all know that Derek likes to go to Thailand whenever he can. And then Ortia Bronze and Village Witch is next for my Tahira. Told you so. And then Tegan Knox, Pan Am Project is after that one. And then Native Waters and Pascalina Lantzoff. Saxon Siren. Oh, more white. And finally, Ruth Noir's Fanin. As they get over the fifth, it's me note clearing the lead by two. The bobble hat second, the white tie flower third, and village witch and all tea and bronze. And Pan Am project and Tegan knocks that one's inside as they get over the next. It's me note continuing to lead. Ron Ortia Bronze and Bobble Hat and Village Witch and White Tie Flower. Pascalina Lantzoff is making a forward move. So's Saxon Siren. Patton Project has been caught a bit flat footed. As two as Tegan knocks on the inside as they get over the seventh. And there's a fall there. Tegan knocks is gone. And Tegan knocks may have been a bit squeezed for room on the inside when she felt, but that one's out of it. And Esme Note continues to lead from White Tide Flower in second. They're really beginning to bunch up now. Pascalina Lantzoff is in third. Table mate Saxon Siren going through the inside in fourth. One or two of them looking for racing room. One or two of them have been taken off their feet as well. They've still got three to get over. And it's Esme Note being pressed now by White Tide Flower. Then Pascalina Lantzoff. Tahira told you so. Now Padam Project, the top rate, is swinging around the outside. But White Tide Flower hits the front from Pascalina Lantzoff. Village with Saxon Siren. Padam Project. They've only got one more to take, and it's White Tie Flower is in front from Saxon Siren in second. Then comes Pascalina Lantzoff, the White Tiller on Pan Am Project. They're coming to the final flight, and now it's Saxon Siren who's burst into the lead. Saxon Siren starting to pull away two, three, four lengths clear. Going down in this final flight, Saxon Siren looking like she's only got to jump it. Jumps it a little bit slowly, but gets over it okay, and he's well clear. Racing into the final half furlong and into the final quarter furlong. Saxon Siren is well clear and takes it from White Tie Flower second. Pascalina Lantzoff Village with Ruth Wiles Fanning ran on well. Bobble Hat dropped out of it. And Saxon Siren for Padre Hogan takes the juvenile handicap hurdle. With White Tie Flower second for Derek Hinton. Pascalina Lantzoff. Well, Padre Hogan again was third. Village Witch, or Jim Murray fourth. And uh, Ruth Noir's Fanning run on well to be fifth for David Robertson. That's me done for the week. I'll pass you over to Grey now, who's going to do the Hunter Chases.